that's convenient. That's convenient. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Uh, uh, it would be a problem if they, don't, if they can't hear. Think they're ready out there? Yeah, let's go see if they're ready for a show. Perfect. How are you guys doing this morning? Awesome! Perfect. That guy's doing awesome. That's going to be the best guest we have all day. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, it is just about showtime. Me and Logan are here just a few seconds early to get to know you all. You know, find out your biggest fears, deepest, darkest weaknesses, all that fun stuff. So let's just do a quick question. Is anyone's first time here at Gatorland? Raise those hands. Wow, we got a bunch of newbies. Newbies. Very funny. Yeah, exactly. Spot on. You want to ask me anything, Logan? Uh, let's just get right to it. Are you guys ready for a show? Yeah! Okay. That was good, but that was only like half of you guys. He said, are y'all ready for a show? Yeah! See, there it is. That's how you that's how you that. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Listen, um... We don't have a bunch of them here, so we don't want really anyone to escape. So why don't you just rope them in so they can't do that? Not the stuff. Good plan, Logan. This way you're a genius. All right, guys. Welcome to the Up Close Encounter Show. Now, this is the only show we have here at the park that has a safety distinguish. So please listen. This is important, okay? Guests and volunteers are part of this show. They can trust animals that are well, maybe scary, all right? Animals that are creepy, crawly, slithery, slimy, reckless, or fox. If any of any of those animals I just said, raise your hands up high so I can see you, okay? A little faster, yeah, exactly. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They, they understood it. Look, see. Do you know anything he just said, or you're just clicking accept? They're, they're just clicking accept. I, uh, Apple's turned all of us. Let's make this nice and simple for everyone, okay? Just please raise your hand for us if you're afraid of animals or stuff. Animals or stuff. No need to be complicated. That's scary. You raise those hands. All right. Thank you for your honesty. <laughs> you're going to you're going finish that coffee. Oh yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about. We got like probably eight minutes. <laughs> All right, you get someone. Yeah, she looks really thrilled. We're scared, scared to death. Thanks, so does my guess. She totally yeah. didn't try to throw her hot coffee at me. Then welcome, folks, to the Up Close Encounter Show. And here with my this right here with Logan. Everybody say hi, Logan. Hi guys. Oh guys, this show here is based on something that happens with gator life all the time. See, we get animals from all over the place, but the biggest reason we're going to get animals is donations. But say uh, somebody has an exotic pet, you know, it hits 12 feet, they don't want to take care of it anymore. You guys know Florida, they'll go in their backyard, find something terrifying, they're afraid it's going to eat their kid, or even worse, their dog, and they'll think Gatorland will take it off my hands. And we absolutely do, they'll put it into an unmarked banker box, drop it off at the front of the park by that big old gator mouth. Okay, our job is the entertainment team to open up those bags and boxes to see what was going on inside of them. And that was going really good oh, until one day Logan here, you see, he's pretty new to this guy. So he was really excited to get his first box. When we opened it up, he got himself bit. Now, the bite wasn't that bad. <laughs> see that? Yeah, it's dangerous out here. Very dangerous. Look, you can put your finger back up. Guys, he got bit in the ankle by a bloody rabbit. We had to get some rabies shots. It was not a very pretty sight. And, well, after that happened, our boss said, no more opening up the bags and boxes. Obviously, he needs us here. But when Logan got back from Florida vacation, he noticed something. The boxes were still piling up out there. And you guys know Florida. It's too hot and wet to keep poor animals all day long outside in boxes. So he came up with a brilliant idea. But if we keep bringing in the bags and boxes, Hand them out to strangers, call you guys an audience, and make you open them for us. So now who's ready for a show? Yeah. Wow, the enthusiasm tanks, man. Lay down. Hey, um, Michael, while you were talking, the lady I gave my box to, she was actually flailing her arms, going crazy. I think she really wants to go first. It was very distracting. Please start with that. Yeah, all right, let's do it. Hi, how are you? What's your name? Miriam? Everyone say, hi, Miriam. Hi, Miriam. All right, Miriam, I'm going to make this really easy on you, okay? You're going to open up this box, or well, I'll open up this box. You're going to stick your hand real deep down inside. You're going to grab whatever's in this box. You're going to show everyone in the crowd, do the whole band of white thing, wheel of fortune, and I'll talk about it while you hold it, okay? All right, Miriam, you got this? All right, you seem pretty un unsure of yourself. Listen, Miriam, where are you from? Canada, okay. Do you like, what's the scariest animal you've seen over in Canada besides sports? Bear. A bear in the hopefully, out there hopefully, hopefully not a bear in this box, okay? Whoa! Woo! Alright. Is that going through your eyes or your throat? I don't know, dude. Listen, um, we're going to take this over here. I don't think Mary can hold this. Why are you bringing it down here? It's her, it's her job. I understand. Just check it out. There's, I think there might be more than one. Oh. I know. Okay. Look, I got a great new idea. So we're uh, we're gonna lock that box back up. We have lighter fluid in the back. Just set a place where we want to. Lighter fluid? No, listen, Michael. We're in the animal park, dude. We can't use 
the lighter fluid. We got to show them what's inside this box, okay? Okay. Come back up here. Let's let's do a little bit of teamwork, okay? Okay. okay. All right, you take it out, and I'll talk about it, okay? <laughs> no, 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 Logan. You can take it out, and I can talk about it. Yeah, I just said that. I'll talk about it while you take it out, okay? All right, so what's going to happen is... Hey, 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 whoa, Logan, dude, I'm dumb. I'm not that dumb. That's not my box. Well, it's not my box. Whose box is it? It's Miriam's box! Come on down! Let's give her a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. She is going to be our first victim of the day, okay? Volunteer! Volunteer! Victim, of the day. volunteer, same thing. Don't worry about it. Um, Miriam, uh, since you're actually so brave to come down, let's do this. Why don't you go over there and stand there with Michael? He's going to make you feel extra safe. I'll open up this box and I'll show him what's inside. Okay? You didn't agree to that one. What? Just make her feel safe. Yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. Now, Marion, I do have a big question. Do you feel safe? Yeah, sure. That sounded very sure, so I'm going to do something that's going to make us both feel extra safe. Just come stand in that for me. Wait, what is that? That's the circle of safety. Miriam, it works for SpongeBob. It's going to work for you. Now, let's stare at that adoring audience and wave hi. They love you. Put up both your hands just like this for me. Actually, Miriam, which one do we write with? Right hand, perfect. So we're gonna put the right hand down. You want that one later in life. Keep the left hand out though, and most importantly, you gotta close your eyes. Whatever he has in there, super scared of eyeballs, you don't want to grab us. You gotta keep those eyes nice and tight, okay? So close them. Perfect. Now, I might hear some oohs and ahs from the audience. It's just loaded with cue cards, and no one's gonna spoil it. Alright, Miriam, just a few seconds, you're gonna feel something really creepy and crawly in your hand, okay? All right, on the count of three, I want you to open your eyes and meet new little friends. Ready? One, two, three. Open his eyes. Yes. All right, ready? All verbal panic, no physical panic. All right, guys, let's give Miriam a big round of applause. <laughs> Don't worry, Miriam. Yeah, we'll be biting folks like this. Biter, biter, biter. Come on. Back. You can go have a seat. Let's give Miriam another big round of applause, guys. She did absolutely amazing. Can anyone tell me what this is, guys? That's right, guys. This is a tarantula. More specifically, guys, this is known as a Chaco Golden Deep Tarantula. Now, they are named in South America. They are part of the Arachnid family, which means they have how many legs, guys? Hey, correct. These guys also reach up this part of the letter B. Does anyone know what that is? Venom, that's right. Now, I know y'all are wondering, why did I go to the venomous feature inside Miriam's hand? The truth is, I just met her, so I really don't care. <laughs> just kidding, Miriam. Listen, the truth is, their venom's only as potent as when a bee or a wasp thing would be. So they're actually only harmful to you guys if they're allergic to Now, these guys get to be about five to six inches big, about the size of my hand. So around the U.S., these guys are considered to be really great pets. But around the world, these guys are not considered to be pets at all. They're actually considered to be a delicacy. Because not only animals eat them, but people do as well. Pretty crazy, right? Does anyone know what these guys might taste like? Chicken. You said chicken. I'm not coming to your house for dinner. What kind of weird eight-legged chickens are you eating over there? Listen, they said if you crack these guys open, you pour them up to the skillet and you fry them up, they actually taste like scrambled eggs. Pretty crazy, right? Does anyone here like scrambled eggs? Who likes scrambled eggs? Let's take a bite. No, 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 we're not feeding anyone the tarantulas. Why, why can't we do that? We gotta cook them first, they're not gonna taste Oh, uh, that's right, I forgot, I forgot. Now you put these guys away, we're gonna move on to my box. But first, one more big round of applause, guys, for Miriam! Now we get to find out if my guest was any braver. You're trying to sacrifice a child. <laughs> oh, that, that, that makes it even worse that you're sacrificing, not your child. No, man, this box is she's the answer to you. It's got to be you. All right, that's fine. Yes, it's the birthday girls, then. Yeah, I got birthday. It's the birthday. Yeah, I guess it's the birthday boys, then. Hello, birthday boys. <laughs> What's your name? Alan, everybody say hi, Alan. Hi, Alan. Now, Alan, what we're going to do right here is we're not going to be cowards, okay? We're going to open up this box. You're going to reach your hand into the cold darkness. Probably do a safety check on that box first, okay? This sounds really boring. What? I know, because we didn't know what's in my box, and we don't know what's in your box, and there's kids around here, man. I mean, Alan says he's ready for it, and none of these kids are mine, so it's not really a problem. <laughs> Get this box box open, all right, Alan? No, that's someone's tax return, man. Like, come on, just bring, bring that back down. All right, Shoot, yeah. Okay, that's fair. Alan, you got lucky today. Congratulations. Happy birthday. I'm going to open up the box down here. 
see what's in it. But uh, if it's something cute and cuddly, Alan, you come down and hold it. Right. Well, let's find out first. Let's find out first. You seem excited for that. That's great. So whatever it is, they're going to hold it. A big question, though, real quick. Do you got any uh, animal experience? No. None? Well, great news, Alan. You're about to get some. <laughs> All right. Come on down. Wait, no, 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 no. Alan, Alan, I don't want you to die on your birthday. Please sit down with your friends. <laughs> Alan can't hold this. If he does, we get fired, Logan. Again? Yeah, yeah, definitely again. So, uh, we need a different kind of help. Sorry, Alan. Different kind of help. Miriam, round two, you ready? What? No, no. No, oh, no, no, Miriam. You scarred that poor woman enough. Logan, I don't need any human help. I need help from one of these. Ah, uh, that makes sense, I guess. I think I heard it out there. You're right, guys. This is for a snake. Hey, what else am I going to catch with a big metal hook? Here, kitty, kitty! Hey! Wait, wait. <laughs> Michael, I thought you loved cats. Dude. What's doing? I love cats. They call me Carol Baskins. <laughs> that circle of safety there worked amazing for Miriam. So we're going to draw another thing with a sander to keep everyone safe. This right here is going to be our line of death. Now, as that name implies, you cross for any reason. You could most certainly die. Whether you have a trip, fall, get pushed by a loved one. Run straight here. Circle of safety going to be A-OK. -okay. Uh, Michael, I just realized something. When you were drawing that that line of depth, you put us on the opposite side of it. Yeah, yeah, we're the professionals doing this. Side. We're going to need that whole line for this guy right here. What's that, Logan? Uh, this is my corner safety. Yeah, it's going to protect me from that thing. Check it out. I got death spikes. I got a force field. I'm going to draw the uh, bodyguards right here. You keep messing with that thing. I'll, I'll be okay. Sounds good, buddy. You, you, you go ahead and claim the sand, and I'll do our job. All right, sounds good. Real quick, why are you drawing stuff now? What's the weight limit on your books? Uh, we got these at Dollar Tree, so like two pounds, I think. Oh, dude, we're definitely pushing it with this guy. Fuck face, dude. Not from the mouth. Oh, I don't laugh. It's cold this morning. Does anybody know what this guy right here is? You're right, it is a snake. It's not a turtle. Anybody know what kind of snake it is, though? Any guesses? A rattlesnake. A rattlesnake, spot on. This is a rattlesnake, the pygmy rattlesnake, also known as the dusky pygmy, the smallest species of rattlesnake in the world. Now, dusky part of its name is going to come from that dark, dusky coloration. You see on helps him blend in with the wildlife around him, and pygmy obviously comes from his size. Even though this guy looks like a cute little baby, he is just about full grown at about 22 inches, and he already pays his own taxes good for him. Now, being a rattlesnake means two very important things. One, he is venomous, so obviously you don't want to get bit by him, and two, he has the titular rattle. However, not only is his entire body small, that rattle is a lot smaller than it normally is, so it's not going to sound like the maracas of death you know and love, it sounds more like a bee or maybe a wasp buzzing around. So picture this with me, guys, you're, you're walking around on the floor of the swamp, I won't ask questions, and you're, you're listening out, you're hearing a bee flying around, you're looking up, or you're not looking down for a snake, you step on it. What's going to happen? Right? He's going to bite you exactly. And guys, if you're stepping on him, where is he biting you? Your leg, your foot, your ankle, somewhere down low. And because of that, guys, what is the worst type of footwear to wear in the state of Florida? Flip-flops. Sandals and flip-flops. Now, Joanne, who likes wearing sandals and flip-flops? Ma'am, they're all going to die. Ah, hey, hey. Dead, dead, dead. What? Michael, you cannot tell them that. I understand that, but you have to give them what's our motto? Fun, smile, special. Should I use while they're here at our parking? Okay, try again. I'm sorry. Uh, please check out our gift shop before you die. You can shop till you drop! Alright, you know what, dude? Enough with your dad joke. Just put this one with death away before something happens to us, okay? Okay. Alright, guys, let's open up another box, okay? We got, we got one that's from Australia, that one seems kind of scary. Uh, Gatorland stomping Gator Off-Road Adventure, that's Gator Joe's box. What's that doing over here? Um, I, I got I got one that says, what is this? This one says it's from Canada, Michael. From Canada? Yeah, what's well, something like super scary they could have sent us from Canada? Hey, Miriam said nothing, but if I had to make a guess, Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber? <laughs> Listen, if Justin Bieber's in this box, dude, we got like serious problems, bro. <laughs> Legal problems. His lawyer's amazing. Right, dude, but how'd they fit beef? Whoa! Whoa! Dude, Did the beefs? No, it's not the beefs, dude. This thing is actually not even from Canada. It's actually from Florida. What? Yeah, they must have mislabeled it. You know what? It might have been those people over in Polk County. You know they don't even really know how to spell. 
sure. Um, listen, I'm definitely gonna need these again, okay? And what you call this thing about and that line? Uh, that was our line of death. Line of death. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that line of death is in full effect right now. So if you do fall over that line of death, please run that way, that way, or that way. But guys, do not run to this circle of safety because it was not gonna work anyways, okay? Miriam, be honest with me. You felt very safe in the circle, right? Yeah, is she? Is she I, I don't even know if that was a yes or a no. She just smiled at me and moved her head. What's so bad that my circle of safety can fix it? Check it out, dude. If anything happens here, I'm gonna need you to back me up. Okay? Oh, dude, for sure. Logan, if something goes wrong, I will back you up. What are you doing? Hanging out in your corner, corner of safety. Where it works for you. All right, just stay right there, okay? I got this guy. All right, can anyone tell me what this is, guys? Yes, guys, it's a snake. Snake kids are two for two right now. Congratulations. <laughs> it's a snake. It's not a turtle, guys. What kind of snake is it? Does anyone know? I think I heard it. And maybe it's a cottonmouth or a water moccasin. Same snake with two different names. Now, with that name, like water moccasin, where do you think you're going to find them at? The water. The water. That's right, guys. And what do you think they eat? Moccasins. Really? <laughs> No, no, see, they don't eat shoes, Michael. They'll eat anything found out by the water. They're not picky eaters by any means, okay? They'll eat fish, they'll eat turtles, they'll eat birds, they'll eat other snakes. And guys, if they are small enough, this guy will actually eat baby alligators. Like I said, he's one of the garbage disposals of the animal kingdom. Now, the other name, Cottonmouth, he gets that name because when he feels threatened, what he likes to do is he likes to curl up in a ball and he opens his mouth really, really wide. And it looks like a bunch of cotton balls are stuffed in his mouth. It's white lining along that snake's mouth, and it contrasts great with the dark body of this snake. Now, I know this guy's almost fully grown, but not fully grown yet, because he does still have something called juvenile bands, okay? As he gets older, he's going to lose those juvenile bands, and he's going to get jet black, just like the tip of his tail, all the way through his body. Now, this is one of the more common than mistakes we have here in the state of Florida. We find them everywhere, and they get to be about three to four feet in length. So, a lot of local Florida residents, they like to make up stories about these guys because they're scary, right? They say that they'll hunt in packs, they'll kill by the thousands, they'll jump out of the bushes, hit you over the head with a baseball bat, and then steal your cell phone. I mean, look at this guy. Isn't he an absolute menace? Now, listen, this is something me and Michael want you to learn today while you're here at our park and the rest of the entertainers, okay? All snakes are actually defensive animals. So the only way they're going to strike at you or bite you is if you step on them like Michael's said earlier, or if you do something stupid with them, okay? Come on, Michael, do something stupid for him. Whoa, 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 what do you mean stupid? I don't know, kiss the snake. Kiss the snake, you want me to kiss a cottonmouth? Hey, I wanna see Michael kiss the snake, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm not gonna go to your dump and wish you to die, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, I've seen you kiss way worse than this, Michael, okay? <laughs> seen me kiss worse? Yes. Look, that's an awful way to talk about your mother, dude. Aw, oh, that's not a way to say go right, man. Well, Logan's putting that friend away. I'm thinking, we got enough time for one more box. Y'all want to see one more box, right? Now, since this is our last box, we're doing something extra special with it, okay? I'm leaving it up to you guys which one we open up. Let's just, you know, show, some show of hands. Red box, any red box fans? All right, one guy really likes the red box. What about Australia? Some the deal under? Oh, yeah. Actually, you know... The really big India box is kind of calling to me. You guys want to do the big one? Yeah. Oh, that's good to say. We got to do the big one. You got to do the big one. All right. Sounds good. When you're all done there, give me a hand. Who knows how big this is? <laughs> Holy cow. What is it? Logan, I think it's a cow. What? Dude, it's, it's got to be a cow, man. It's got eyes. It's got spots. It's staring at me. Whoa. It's got like 20 what legs. Is that? 21 leg crew, another leg. How does it do that? Dude, that's crazy. dude, that's not a cow. Where'd you go to cow school at? Canada. Canada. Now, okay, I got a great idea here. You ready for this? Yeah. You're going to grab it, and I'm going to stand oh, here man, and I watch you, and then you're going to take it out there. I can't touch that thing, man. That thing's what? too big. It's okay. kind of scary. Oh, oh, so you're not going to help me. I'm not going to touch it. I'm sorry. All right, whatever, man. You, you don't got to help me with this, but I, uh, I'm, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this alone, dude. I need big kid help. They can help. So kids, it's like 6'5", convention 250. That thing is massive. No, not, 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 not Shaq's kids. I need adult help, Logan. You know, I actually have a friend in the audience today. Do you mind if I use them? Yeah, as long as you guys are really good friends, I guess. We are the best of friends. I mean, we go way back. How far back? All the way back to box number two, birthday boy. Come on down. Give him a big round of applause, guys. And Alex, you might be nervous that he's 
should be, but don't worry, it's not a one-man job. Logan, how about you grab two people from your side to give them a hand? I'll get another one from mine. Just no, no kids. kids. Kids are snack size. No kids, you're snack size. Okay. Okay. Anyone on this side want to help out? Anyone, anyone at all? all right. You, come on down. You're old enough. That was very perfect. You walked in at the perfect time. Come right here on the stage, guys. You're being Vaughn told with the hat. You, my friend, stand right here. Out yeah, you're coming up. And let's get an amazing round of applause for these volunteers, guys. You guys all signed the waivers, right? Oh, what? We don't have waivers. Oh, 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 never mind. Don't worry about it. Now, Al, while we're getting everyone set up, I have a big job for you, okay? In my pocket, I have a coin. I'm going to flip it. I just need you to call heads or tails. Which do you want? Tails. Excellent choice. I'm going to get the tail. That might be bad for you. We'll see. All right. So uh, here's what I want you to do right now. I want you guys to stay very close together, right in front of that box. 2024, you guys are going to be fine, okay? Now, I want you to hold your hands out and your arms out flat, just like this, okay? Everyone, I want you to stay level. It's very important, okay? All right, audience, this is where we need your help. We do not like cheaters here at Gatorland, okay? So if they look back for whatever reason, you guys are not allowed to turn around. We want you to yell cheaters really, really loud so we can hear you in the back, okay? On the count of three, let's yell and practice that. Ready? One, two, three. Cheaters! Logan? Logan? Logan, you know you're I go! Okay, okay, thank you for coming back here. So you know what? You might notice I'm a little tied up right now. I yes. just need to grab that. Okay, here, we gotta hold on. And now two big things. Watch out for the spores, and don't let the blue tentacle get anywhere near your skin. The blue tentacle, I got this blue tentacle hold on. It's the one that makes you pregnant, man, and it's on me. I see that. Yeah, you know. We'll worry about that later, okay? Uh, audience, are they cheating out there? Yeah. Well, can they stop cheating? It's a family show. Goodness, guys. Are they cheating? Oh. Why'd you pick? No, I gotta go make faster. You're a woman, you'll be fine. <laughs> what a big job, though. This end has all the teeth, so don't squeeze it. Hey, do not squeeze this end now until the cook's dirty, okay? He's doing great. Now, can anybody tell me what these folks are holding? A snake! This kid got all three right. This right here is a red tailed boa constrictor, one of the largest species of snakes in the entire world. Full grown, they can be anywhere from 8 to 13 feet, and they're non venomous. How can you guys tell? We're letting people hold them. Easiest question in the entire park, guys. They are constrictors. So what they do, they wrap their bodies around their prey, squeeze it tight, and then once it's gone, they swallow it whole. Now, some people are going to take a look at her head. Don't think she can swallow much of anything. But a snake like this can swallow prey five to ten, sorry, five to ten times the size of its own head. It's a crazy cool adaptation. Whoa, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Yeah, what's up? Let me stop you, Michael. You said five, ten times the size of its own head. Give or take, give or take. Yeah. Something like this big will work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I borrow baby real quick? No, Logan, not that type of show! You four, look for it and smile! All right, guys, let's give our volunteers a big round of applause! Good <laughs> job, guys. Y'all can have a seat. Thank you so much. Oh, she likes you. All righty, guys. Did y'all enjoy the show? Oh, come on, get loud for us one more time. Did y'all enjoy the show? Yeah. Alrighty, guys. Now, unfortunately, that is the end of the show, but it's not the end of the fun, okay? We're going to do something really cool now called Extreme Encounters, where y'all have the opportunity to come up here and have an experience with one of these animals to take a picture with them, whether it be our red tail boa constrictor or one of our tarantulas. Now, if you'd like to do that, it is a $5 cash donation per person per animal. But remember guys, that donation does go to the care and feed of all the many animals we take care of here at the park. So, right after I'm done, if you'd like to do that, we're going to be getting lined up right here on this X. Do 